Qatar cracks down on public morals and licensing violations with mass arrests at massage parlors. Australia's shadow finance minister steps in to demand an explanation from the government for its rejection of more Qatar Airways flights. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Stick around to find out when temperatures will start to cool. And your favorite World Cup stadium is not done just yet. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's Ministry of Interior has arrested 251 workers and massage parlors. The ministry said those arrested are suspected of violating, quote, public morals or licensing regulations. A massive cross-ministry search campaign was conducted before action was taken at a number of parlors across the country. Now, the 251 suspects face legal action. Over in Australia, Shadow Finance Minister Jane Hume has strongly criticized the federal government's refusal to grant Qatar Airways' appeal for more flights into Australia. Hume said the controversial decision will worsen the country's existing issues issue of high living costs. Other experts say it is likely to deal a massive blow to the Australian economy. Last month, Qatar Airways was denied a request to add 21 extra weekly flights in Australia, triggering a major debate down under. Here in Qatar, scorching temperatures are expected to drop following the reappearance of Najm Sahel on Thursday. Astronomers in the region have long relied on the appearance of Najm Sahel or the Sahel star as an indicator of the end of the summer season and beginning of winter. Dr. Bashir Marzoug, an astronomer at Qatar Calendar House, explained that residents can spot the star towards the southern horizon during the first week of September. And finally, the iconic Lusail Stadium will host the opening and final matches of the AFC Asian Cup Qatar next year. Qatar's national team will kick off the Asian tournament with a match against Lebanon on the 12th of January at the Lusail Stadium. The tournament will come to an end on the 10th of February, also at the Jewel of the Desert venue. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.